uh, you will have uh, some sort of thing to fall back on. Uh, and this is quite sophisticated is because if you're looking on YouTube, you can actually change the screens by moving a slider across. And you should see me there now in a few seconds. Um, although it says YouTube is not receiving enough video. So who knows what that means? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully it all goes through at some point. Uh, and those that are watching online can see it. And those that aren't in the room, that's probably the better, the safer place to be. So probably safer in the room than you are looking out on the YouTube link. Uh, I will post on YouTube uh, if, if uh, again, if it doesn't go through and record like it's supposed to do. Uh, maybe the future we do it and then post it up with a live later on. I think that might be the way to do these things. So good evening or good afternoon, depending on what type of the part of the world you are. I'm sure a lot of you have been hearing lots and lots about this Lionsgate, all right? And the star alignment and how it's going to affect us all and how it's going to magically make our lives better. Well, that is true, but it's also not true. Because also, it always comes from your intention, your intention, where you want to come from, okay? Where, where you are in your life, okay? So it's not going to magically make your life better. It's not going to magically make you an enlightened being. It's not going to magically transform all your financial woes or stresses or traumas or grief or anger or pain but it will help and amplify the energies that you started bringing and work with. So why is this lion's gate so important? Okay, well, it's a star alignment. It's really a star alignment that connects us to uh, the Orion energy, the Orion star system, and in particular to Orion's belt. Okay, the three brightest stars that make up Orion's belt. And we can see the Orion's belt in the Northern hemisphere, usually in winter time, Okay, when, this, when it's a bit more darker, not so much in the summer. And in South Africa, the Southern Hemisphere, you can see it pretty much any time of the year if you just look in the right spot. But what's important about today and this period is that the three stars are lining up with the pyramids in Egypt, with the pyramids of Giza, right? The three pyramids are exactly in alignment. Okay, and this period has been going on for a, a little while now. It's the exact dates. I think it's the 26th. I've got it written down here somewhere on my notes here. Is it the 26th? Look at my book here. Um, the 26th of July to till the uh, till the um, 12th of August. Okay, but today the 8th, the 8th of August is when it's at its most uh, powerful. It's most powerful. It's when it's really lining up. Now, if we think of the pyramid shape, okay, the pyramid shape always is always about moving upwards, isn't it? It's about climbing. So it'll be the shape that for us uh, is all about moving up into ascension. Okay, so humans, ascension, move upwards. That's what we're here to do. We're trying to ascend, trying to grow, trying to be uh, uh, more. Uh, spiritually aware, more awake, and more in our own power. But if you look at a pyramid, the energy of the pyramids, the, the pyramids in, in, in Egypt, you will see that there's actually an energetic shape around them. So if you look at the energy, the space around them, you'll start to notice that there's actually an upside down pyramid. And we've got two pyramids crossing over, we get the six pointed um, star or the Star of David. So us humans are going up, and the energy from the stars and the, and the star systems are coming down. So we have this beautiful alignment where our energies are moving upwards, and the star system's energies are bringing it down into us. Okay, All this divine energy that's been flowing through this, this gateway, through this portal, is now streaming in to us. And that's very, very exciting, very, very powerful. Um, so pyramids are really built to help us ascend, connect to these star systems, be that physical representation that allows us to bring that energy in. Um, there's lots and lots of symbology in the numbers, okay? Eight, 
eight vertical is an eight, but turn on inside and you've got the infinity loop. Okay, very, very powerful, the infinity loop, because it really connects us to everything. Energetically, it's that give and receive. As we give out, so we receive, keeping that in balance, right? Keeping it in balance, the figure of eight, powerful, powerful symbology there. And of course, then we've got this all connected to the star sign Leo. Now, when we think of lions, we often think of lions in Africa. We think of them as, as being the, 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 the leaders, the, 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 the king of the, of the jungle, as they say. But lions are incredibly fiery energy, very, very fiery energy, masses and masses of fire. Um, and it's that sort of golden energy, that golden light energy, the golden fire energy that comes through. So we've got all these divine stars sending us energy, all aligning up, sending us all this divine spiritual energy, which is all fire-based. It's all full of flame, full of energy, full of fire. And if we think about fire, the triangle in alchemy represents the fire symbol. Okay? The upside-down triangle represents the water the flow. So we have fire flowing down from above and us meeting up with our fire energy. Now, if we look again at fire in the physical body, in our physical bodies, where does fire step into? Where is fire in our bodies? Fire in our bodies can be seen as our DNA. Our DNA is the fire element because without fire, without our DNA, we, th we don't exist. Uh, so, lots and lots of energy that's coming through here. Lots and lots of energy. And one of the energies that come through is this idea that this fire energy can really start to dissolve our limitations. So, dissolving those blocks, those limitations that we hold. As this world is changing so rapidly, it's time to really let go and to dissolve those blocks. To let go of the old way. To really dissolve all those blockages in our own systems that are stopping us from moving, from moving with the, the speed that the earth is developing. The earth has changed. The energy of the earth has changed massively, massively. We, we're in a sort of new era of energy. And those people that are sensitive to energy would have felt it for a while. But we've entered into a new cycle. We've entered a new cycle of energy where things are much faster much, much faster. Before, there was always a sort of slow, steady, linear place, that pace that was sort of predicted, as you could predict that slow, slow pace. But things have changed now. Things are instantaneous. Things are rapid. Our minds are constantly going in all sorts of directions. We try and pick up on all these different elements and bits and pieces. Okay. And it is really just realizing that yes we need stability in going forward in a, a progression but at the same time the progression doesn't have to come in a linear fashion part of the old part of us is almost addicted that we have to go from a to z well we could go from a to c to g to z to m back to b we don't necessarily have to follow it like a, B, C, D, E. So we've got to realize that we can open our minds up and expansion into, into far more different ways of energy. Um, this time is also about uh, manifestation, about powering up. So powering up uh, your, 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 your energy. With all this light coming, uh, we get in this flood of this pure source energy. Now, source energy will be that creation key the bit that created it all. It's this pure energy that is available to all of us to really start to d empower ourselves to connect to our manifestation abilities. Another thing that people will be experiencing this time, and, and those that are sensitive energy will definitely have felt it, 
uh, is lots and lots of divine codes coming in and activating the physical form, the physical body. Uh, light body is being upgraded. It's being upgraded. There's certain keys coming in the light frequencies that are shifting and changing and making us grow. And for some people, they might feel that as um, tiredness, followed by bursts of energy. They might find they have body aches and pains, followed by, hey, nothing wrong with me. Uh, or there might be lots of ideas of senses of deja vu. All right. As energy comes in, our timelines start to almost glitch and we get deja vu. We start to notice deja vu a lot. We sometimes might even better see two lines, two timelines starting at the same time or notice things and, and comment on them, like some, noticing something new and commenting on it and then being told that it's always been that way. And I'll give you a quick example. Just the other day, I noticed that the my daughter's school, all the uh, grade sixes were wearing ties. And I said, oh, when did they start wearing ties? That's a new thing. And uh, one of the mothers turned around and said, they've always worn ties. But I know for sure that, you know, six months ago, they were definitely not wearing ties because I used to watch them. But now it's changed and people have just accepted that that change has always been like that. So quite often you will see things like that happening. You will see things like that happening. And of course, the last thing which is going to really start, people are going to start to notice is the idea of um, becoming more psychic. A lot of people think, oh, no, I don't want to be psychic. I don't want to be psychic. It's too scary. I don't want to hear things. I don't want to see things. I don't want to feel things. But it's our God-given right to be psychic. It's our God-given right to be able to have um, easier communication with the other side. Um, to be able to bring in information from the greater universe, greater world, to bring it all in to us. This is not a scary thing. This is just a very normal thing. It's a very important thing. And it's particularly noticeable at this time of year because the energy veil that almost separates us is so much thinner. It's so much thinner. It's so, uh, so much easier to connect to our guides our spirit guides, to angelic forces, to the nature spirits, um, to, to deities, you name it. Uh, we can bring that energy in very, very quickly, very, very easily. So that being said, a little bit of a mishmash of stuff there. Um, one thing that is so important at this time, in fact, it's important at any time for anybody who is, is waking up, evolving, wanting to know more, is the importance of remembering to stay in your body. Okay. There was this old belief that it all happened up there outside of us. We always wanted to escape to the higher realms, to spend time with the angelic forces, with our guides, with our guardians, with our angels, right? To learn from upstairs. But we're here in the physical world. We're here on earth. So we really have to be on earth we're here to experience the physicality of this world and as nice it is to go off into these dreamy states and to live from the dreamy world of the higher planes we have to realize that we are here in the physical reality we're part of physicality our body is part of physicality and we need to keep um existing from here uh so Grounding is so important. It's so important to notice your own body, to really be in your own body. Yes, have those experiences where you drift off and you connect and you have a wonderful time exploring the, the astral planes, but make sure that your physical body is grounded. Okay, especially now with all this cosmic energy coming in, all the source light, all the source energy coming into the planet, it's even more important for us to make sure that we take our shoes off at least once a day. Hopefully you can step outside. It's not too cold or too wet. Uh, but to actually put your feet on the earth. All right. Now, quite often I get asked the question, well, 
hey, I live on the 20th floor of a, of a block of flats. I can't exactly go running outside. Well, you can using your energy. And I often take people through this is just to imagine that there's this cord of energy going from the base of their spine straight down into the earth. And for me, that cord of energy is always blue. So I always imagine this blue light plugging me into the earth. So I can be upstairs, 10th floor, 20th floor, doesn't matter. I can still be grounded energetically. I can still ground my energy in earth. I can still feel the support, the nurturing of Mother Earth. Also at this time, it's the water element. Okay, if it's warm enough and you've got a got sea around you or pools of water around you or streams or rivers, it's a great place to be, right? Water is absorbing this cosmic energy and, and is, is now able to, to share it with us. And so putting our feet in, in moving water or in the sea, in, in, in a stream or a pool uh, is fantastic because it really starts to um, allow us to absorb and really simulate this, this cosmic energy. Why? Because we're mostly water, right? We are that divine flow energy, that water element, that flow is in us. And we need water to be with us. So we're grounding, we're spending time in water. Um, part of this is also to really connect to your heart. And, and those that you know me know that I'm a big believer in, in the heart and how we've got to really connect to our own hearts first. Okay, because when we're connected to our own hearts, to our own hearts, not the love outside of us, but the love inside of us, then we really get to um, start to become more intuitive. We start to be able to listen to our own insights, our own intuition, our own ideas, to bring through all that into our reality. So that being said, we're going to do a bit of grounding. We're going to connect to our hearts and we're going to go up and we're going to work on bringing some of this incredible energy through the physical form, through the physical body, so we can change, grow, heal, and let go of some of those blocks we might be carrying. And by the way, the energy of this is supposed to be fun. Okay. It's supposed to be a little bit chaotic, a little bit fun, because sometimes we get too serious. We think that, hey, I'm a spiritual person, right? I can't smile. I can't laugh. I can't mess up. I can't screw up. I can't have fun. I've got to be serious about my, my growth and my spiritual path. Well, that's a load of nonsense. It's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to play. You're supposed to be able to laugh, mess around, make mistakes, screw up, and start over again. So to start to bring more of that joy and that humor and that fun that fun into our daily lives it's very easy to just get too focused and too serious and really not get it okay not get it so have fun play we start off this lifetime by playing we become an adult we forget how to play we forget how to be the fool. We forget how to let our hair down. We forget how to imagine. And then we spend the rest of our lives trying to get back to that state of play. So bring that joy in. Play. Have some fun with it. And when you're connected to your heart, that's often where you'll get those insights from your guides, from your guardians, from your higher teams that may be working with you already to try and get you to where you wanted to go to, where you wanted to move to, where you're probably passionately moving without even realizing it. So let's all take a breath in, make ourselves nice and comfortable. You might want to just um, close your eyes, but I wanna make sure that you're sitting upright. Don't be lying down. Because if you're lying down, the day is going to get to you and you're going to fall asleep. Because when your head is in line with your feet, in the horizontal position, you tend to fall asleep. So just make sure that your head is above your feet by at least 30 centimeters, a foot or so. So taking that beautiful breath in, 
and just allowing yourself to go into that comfortable, beautiful space. Allow your body to become heavy and still. In your mind's eye, I want you to just imagine that blue cord of light that's dropping from the base of your spine and moving straight into the earth. It's like this blue extension cord that just plugs you into Mother Earth. And immediately you can feel the stability. Perhaps you can even feel tingling across the top of your thighs or the backs of your shoulders as your body grounds energetically. And it feels good. As you start to follow your breath, start to follow the slow, comfortable in and out of your breath. The rhythm and rate that's just right for you. And it feels good. That slow, beautiful breath in and breath out. And as you breathe, you're going to begin to turn your focus inwards to turn your focus in towards your heart, to that beautiful heart center in the center of your chest. And perhaps you sense the light there. Or perhaps you sense masses amount of space, almost like stepping into a beautiful night sky filled with stars, and a beautiful blackness. Or perhaps you don't sense anything. You don't see anything. You just know. And that's okay. And from this place of stillness, I want you to begin to look at your body and just let go of any tension, any blocks, any heaviness. It's almost like you're able to scan yourself with your heart energy. Letting go of the mind. Perhaps there's tension in the shoulders or in the gut or in the hips or in the legs. Breathing and letting it go. As you begin to sense or to notice or to feel or imagine this incredibly bright white light shining down from above. It's a bright bulb of light shining this incredible white energy down and around you. And it's creating this beautiful tube of light around you. It's a tube of light around your body. And this tube of light it's very much like a vacuum cleaner, and it starts to draw up and out all the particles of heaviness, all the energetic dust and dirt that you might have picked up over the last week or month. And you're able to just let it go. The light gets even brighter now and expands, expands now to fill the whole of your aura, the space around you, filling your aura with this incredible bright white light that is drawing up all those shards of thought forms and energy and particles that are not yours. Clearing you, cleaning you, this heaviness that has been surrounding you. We're going to turn the lights up even brighter now. And now your skin is growing with that orangey pink look. The way you look when you shine a, a torch or a flashlight through the palm of your hand. You see that orange pink glow. The light is so bright now. It's starting to clean and clear the skin and the first few layers of the body. Just allow it to release and to clear all the heaviness. That feels good. It feels so good. As you allow, accept.
and the light begins to fade. And you just find yourself now in this beautiful stillness, a beautiful, comfortable, quiet, black stillness. And it feels good to just be. And from this blackness, we all begin to rise up. Bodies remaining grounded, but spiritual astral bodies moving upwards to this incredible pyramid that just seems to be floating in the night sky. We move inside the pyramid through this tunnel and you find yourself inside the pyramid. It appears to be made out of gold, this pyramid. And you can sense as we stand as this group of beings on this golden floor, you can sense the intricate patterns that are being carved into the floor. Perhaps you can see the light reflecting off the walls. It seems to be just this golden energy everywhere. In the center, below the apex of this pyramid, there is the ball of light, almost like a star that is just floating and turning. It's like a mini sun energy, a mini sun that is just floating in this pyramid. And it feels good as you stand around and look at the sun that is shining out from the center of this pyramid. This is source fire, a source fire energy. And you start to sense, to feel, to imagine, or to know that is now moving around your head. A part of this flame, a part of the sun has moved from the main central sun to move around your crown. To begin to spin around your crown. Perhaps you can imagine it. Perhaps you see it. Perhaps you feel it. As it's spinning clockwise around your crown. This is a fireball of sun energy. And we're going to begin to bring it through our bodies. To bring that much needed light and fire energy and passion into our physical forms. As this fireball of sun energy begins to enter your crown, you can sense it moving through your head, your mind, spiraling downwards through your head into your neck, spiraling across your torso and round and in, through the lungs and the heart, moving down to the vital organs, spiraling down, down, into the abdomen area, the stomach and the intestines, spiraling down into your pelvis, It's also been spiraling out of your arms, into your hands, and now into your legs. Spiraling downwards. Knees, 
and finally to feet. This beautiful fireball spinning throughout your form. Bringing in beautiful light codes of healing. Light codes of passion. Light codes of growth. Light codes for awakening you to the next level of your progression. The fireball connecting you to all this divine energy that is created by the star alignment. The star alignment connecting, bringing in. Allow this fireball sun energy to move all the way through you. Allow it to repeat itself over and over again. Bringing in more as more of you wakes up. More of your energy Sense it, feel it, imagine it. Activating your DNA, that real fire element to your form. Enabling the light codes that are there to wake up. To allow you to step into that place of your truth. Your healing your growth, your divine purpose. Feel the spirals, feel the twisting, the moving of this sun energy, this golden bright light. Allow this sun energy to wake up your heart to that inner playfulness, that inner joy. To allow your inner child to come back online, to play, to smile, to laugh. to have joy as this firelight circles through you and down your body. The fire is incredibly good at purifying, purifying those blocks, releasing those limitations. The fire is so soothing to your neurological system, to all the energy flow in your form. And it feels good. And once again, you find yourself standing in this pyramid temple space. The fireball now returning to the great central sun in the pyramid. You notice now how the sun that's in the center, the star in the center of this pyramid, begins to take on properties. Begins to start to look like a lion. 
with a great mane. Recognize this lion energy, the strength, the power, the determination, and the love. And the lion is asking you what you want to bring into your world. What change do you want to bring into your life? What do you want to manifest in your world? in your form, in your space. Begin to trust the higher form, your higher self, your higher mind. And the first thing that comes in, allow that to be the one that you ask the lion, the lion energy, to assist you in manifesting, to assist you in bringing forth into your reality, into this, your version of your world. It can be something very physical. It becomes something more spiritual or emotional. It could be an intention that you have for your growth, your healing. Allow your intention to be manifested in this Lion's Gate Temple energy Ask the lion energy for your request. Feel the energy come in. Accept it. And let it go. And you take a breath in and you find yourself now beginning to drift very slowly from this temple space, from this pyramid temple, moving slowly and gently back down to your physical form, to your body that's sitting in your space. And you can sense yourself bringing this energy in with you now. 
this sun energy, this lion energy. You take this lion energy and you bring it right into the center of your body, into your heart center. And allow it to fill up your heart center. Allow the light to expand until your whole physical body is shining just as brightly as that fire sun. And the fire energy begins to make your body feel. You can move your fingers and your toes. You breathe in again. And out. And again, breathing in nice and deeply. And out. Bring yourself now back to your physical form, fully awake, fully aware. And just allowing those eyes to open when you're ready. Good. It's probably a good time to have a sip of water because you're probably a little bit thirsty after all that fire energy. Good. How are we all doing? Gotta love the silence. Claire's thumbs up, so she's doing well. Thank you for sharing, Claire. I feel like quite a lot of energies in my head, like almost like fire. That was mm. really beautiful. Thank you. And when you first started the meditation, I saw a triangle with an eye, like a, an actual eye. So I don't know if that was like third eye or I've seen that before somewhere, yes. I think. It was right there yes. straight away. Yeah. So very powerful. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Remember, this energy was all about bringing balance to that neurological system. So feeling it in your head was the right place to feel it. I feel Remember, like most of what we hold in, in our lives is, is usually created by our mind. Right? Our fears, our beliefs, our worries, our concerns. All created by here. Our biggest fears are made even bigger by our minds. When you turn the light on them, they go, oh, that's not really scary. Just like a kid might be scared of a coat hanging on the back of a door. As soon as you turn the light on, they realize it's a coat and it's got no power, no energy over them. But left to the imagination, that coat can become the most scary thing out there. Our minds are the part of us that need purifying the most because they're what hold us back. They're the parts that trap us in our fears. Good. Now you can tap into this energy at any time. but it's particularly powerful at this time of year because our day-to-day -day life is powerful. We can really connect to energy quite easily. But what makes this so much more powerful is because that veil is so much thinner. The connection, the distance doesn't feel as far. It doesn't take as much energy to get there. And we can bring in huge amounts more of change. And that's what we want. We want that change. We want that change in our bodies, in our lives, in our existences. 
So beautiful souls. Any other questions or statements, you can make them now. Otherwise, I'm going to be closing down this room so I can sit and bask in this lion energy and enjoy it for a little bit longer. Thank you. All right, everybody. Have a beautiful, beautiful lion's portal energy. Enjoy the energy. And I'll catch you all in the next one. And hopefully I will have mastered this uh, live streaming, Zoom recording, whatever this might be that I'm doing right now. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful night, everybody. I've stopped Bye. the live stream, so you can all, you can all un 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 unmute if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> the live stream has been stopped. So if you anybody wants to say anything off the record, not being recorded, you can do now.